look at how to clear out journals on hold NX3 that has a conflict with the ACC num being duplicated. When this occurs, you're going to get an error in your accounting task log that has nothing to do with the actual error. So let me bring that up on screen here. So in this case, this is I've look I've gone to the log of the uh, journal here, and you see this is one of those errors: transaction stop error and transaction creation whip CS whip number table GACC entry DDAE. So <clears throat> the error is there's there's an, uh, a field that is ACC num. So this is the GACC temp D table. So I open this up in edit top 200 rows mode. So that's how we're going to edit these. You need the GACC temp A table, GACC temp D, and GACC temp tables to do this. So once I've identified from the log what my transaction is, and again, I get to the log by going into the accounting test. You can leave the accounting tasks active. That's not a problem. Don't have to stop the batch server. You go into log, and it starts at page one of however many pages. You just go to the last page, which in our case is page 18. And um, yeah, I've been clearing these, so you see these are now posted. But this is that message. And these are some of the messages before. So once you go into SQL Server, you open these three tables. JCC Temp A, that's the analytical table, the detailed table, and then the oh, header table. Header table does not have that ACC number in it. But importantly, it has this flag. When the flag's at one, that means it's stuck on hold. Normally, you would just, if these are hold, you just change it back to zero and it'll pick it up and everything's fine. But we have these duplicate numbers here um, under this field, this ACC num right here. So, what we need to do is we need to go to, to get the next number. And how we do that, because it's somewhere in the system, these numbers are, have already been assigned. So, to get the next number, we go into X3. All right, and I go into Financials Journal Entry, and you put in, you open the calculator, and you put in this um, unique ID DAA, DAA. That's the table number. When you hit it, it basically this is this is the counter field in the table um, that it's looking at, and when you hit Return, it gives you the next number. So this will be the next highest number, so we know it won't be in duplicate. So we're going to use that. So, you know, you can increment a couple of numbers. All you need is the next. And you should probably have people out of the system so they're not assigning these, you know, while you're trying to do this. So I go back <clears throat> to here. I'm going to look at the next. Let's look at WIP 834 here. I'm going to go to the temp D table. I have this sorted ascending. So here's my 834. There's eight lines. So I need to put the first number in here, 53. And then... 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So that gets me lines 1 through 8. Now I go to the analytical table and I see what's there for 34. So 34 is using line 7. Okay, so there's two entries in line 7. So I got to match this ACC number to line 7 there. So I grab whatever's there, 659, copy, and I have to paste for both of these. Okay, now I'm almost ready to change this flag back to 0. Before I do so, I have to go back and make sure in X3 that I've incremented this all the way up to what I just assigned. So if I go back here, look at my temp, I assigned up to 60. All right. 
So I assigned up to 60, so they, they have to exist in this table. So now you see journals on hold. Let me update this. There's three. I go into SQL. My next step is to change this one to a zero and hit return. And now it'll be picked up every 30 seconds. The batch server picks these up. I'll just keep going here until that clears. Now it's gone. I go to my D table now. Here were the records. They're gone. My next is 35. Now these are gone. So I have two more left, 35 and 36. Now I don't have to do these one by one. That was just an example. Um, I can do them you know, all together as long as I assign the numbers. So that's how you clear these entries.